Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Today, um, I'm going to be doing some After Effects tutorials. I think that's the primary thing I want to bring to my channel, um, is After Effects tutorials. And today, um, let's ignore that. Uh, we are going to learn how to do some super, super, super awesome, super, super awesome, uh, black and white color correction. But not just black and white, it's something, it's better than that. It's better! I'm telling you. Okay, so, um, any hooser, let's get right into it. Um, let me pick a clip real quick. Go away, and no one wants you here. Boom, not, not you guys, I meant that, uh, that little window thing, but, it, uh, let's take this clip. I like this clip. Boom. And uh, we're just going to pre-compose it. If you guys don't know how to do that, uh, yeah, that's not a good sign. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new adjustment layer. Bam. Uh, yeah, you can go up to your uh, layers and make a new adjustment layer. Or you can just do a control or a control alt y is what I did. Because I'm cool like that. I'm a cool cat. All right, don't judge me. So, we're going to go black, and color correction, black and white, bajam, and it's going to load, oh, look at that, all nice and black and white, we're not going to mess uh, with this stuff, um, we might later, no, I don't think so, okay, uh, anyway, let's make a new adjustment layer, uh, another one, just call this uh, black and white, we want to stay organized, right? We want to stay organized. We don't know what the hell we're doing. But uh, we're going to add a glow. Nice, simple glow. This will uh, bring out the brights. And just increase it a little bit. Yeah. So it gives it this real, like, just, uh, just boom. That might be a little too much, actually. Uh, let's increase the radius. So, yeah, just play around with it. Yeah, definitely the radius helped. Look at that. That looks nice, doesn't it? Mm. Oh my god, so, it's so good. Oh my, oh, that blindy. Oh god, yes. Okay. Uh, next thing we're gonna do, well, let's name this glow. And, um, see, this, this looks nice and everything, but when I, uh, when I use black and white color correction, I always think of kind of like a dream, almost, uh, like, I don't know. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make yet another adjustment layer that, Press different wrong button, and we're gonna name this um, we're gonna name this uh blur, blur cause we're gonna apply a flat 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 fast blur. F oh wait, whoa, whoa, stop it. There we go, and we're gonna put it right there, and we're gonna go uh up to our toolbar up in this uh this here area. Click on the rectangle, hold, and when you hold it this uh, dialog box comes up and we're gonna go to the ellipse tool then we're gonna go on to our window here and we're just gonna go in the corner and we're gonna drag this 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 here this here circle thingy or uh, oval thingy and we're just gonna you know size it up however large you want it it, uh, it doesn't matter it just depends on how you want it to look and we're gonna increase the blurriness about that much alright next thing you're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, click our mask and go to subtract that's gonna make it blur like the edges out here but you see that doesn't look very good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on our blur layer press F for feather and uh, feather at about a hundred pixels that's what I usually do that makes it look nice I think let's see if that's enough um, maybe 125 pixels uh, just mess around with it All right about there and then you kinda get this like it's just dreamy almost I don't know. I like it. It kind of blurs out the uh, the kill feed and the gun, and it kind of it it helps you focus on the clip itself. I don't know. It's that sort of thing. But yeah, that's how I do my super sexy black and white color correction. And the best thing about this is because everything is an adjustment layer. Uh, you can just put a different clip in, and it will uh, it will apply to that clip as well. And if you're um, having issues with uh, a different clip, say uh, let's turn this clip off and let's add um let's add a brighter map. Um, I think I have a something in here. Uh, yeah, like a cove. Cove is a brighter map. We're actually gonna import that real quick, um, and we're gonna plop this in here. As you can see, look how bright that is. 
And if you don't want to adjust your adjustment layers, just go to Levels, and you can just apply levels right onto the clip and adjust it manually that way. So we can uh, input some black, and then take the white and reduce the white to right there. Maybe maybe not the black. Now that did yeah, see, and it fixes it, and now it looks nice. Uh, look at that skull. Did you see that skull fly past the screen? That cool. No, no. Hey, yeah. And uh, that's that's pretty much how you do it. Um, I guess I guess you know what, we'll do this. Okay, so uh, we're gonna delete this. Boom. All right. So uh, what we're gonna do is what I was gonna show you is how to add color to um how do how to add color to uh, a black and white sort of thing so you see how the cog have their armor you know it glows it's all fancy well um for for like time purposes i'm just gonna freeze frame it right here um you could twixter it or some place where someone's standing still is the easiest so you don't have to do shenanigans whatever we're gonna make a, um a new adjustment layer and call this uh color and if you don't know how to rename stuff, just go uh, click on your layer and press enter, and it'll give you the option to rename it. So we're going to go to glow. This is, this, is, this is so simple, but it looks so nice, and it adds so much. Take our ellipse tool, and we're just going to encompass our cog like that. Next, we're going to take our colors, and because cog glow blue, we're going to give it some nice blues. Um... You can uh, mess with the colors or whatever, but for right now, I'm just going to go that. And we're going to increase the intensity up, and then we're going to increase the threshold. And then increase the radius, kind of mess around with it. The intensity, maybe not so much. And then for the mask, make sure you, you always want to feather the mask. I always feather about uh, 100 pixels just in case. And then right there, you have it. You have uh, You have glow on the cog. And uh, you can ma you can um you can keyframe the mask to move around, but that is a pain in the ass, and I don't recommend that. Um, I was trying to do it, and it sucked. So uh, yeah, you got some nice color correction. The glows. Um, I didn't spend too much time. Uh, I usually spend some more time like adjusting it, trying to get it to glow good or whatever. Um, you can do individual spots. You can do it like one here, one here, and then get it really good. But just mess around with it. You'll get it eventually. It'll be all super awesome. Yeah. Yeah, like that. See? See, that's awesome. If you don't think that's awesome, you're stupid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, God. Oh, God, what have I done? Oh, no, this is it's horrible. Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. Uh, yeah, so... Oh, wow. That looks weird. But, yeah, you kind of get the idea. I really fucked it up because I'm a dumbass, but whatevs. And uh, I think that's going to be it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, you sexy fiends, all day, every day. Peace.